Hello there future ACCs, this is Vishnu Vijay, a proud film drama and I am here to address a common question that a lot of ACC students have been asking me throughout our sessions as well as even outside our sessions as well. What exactly is this question you may ask? Well basically they want to know the ideal preparation method to tackle an ACC exam paper. Okay. So that's a really common question, isn't it? So let me just discuss that. Okay, folks, however, before we deep dive into it, don't forget to click on the subscribe button and on the bell icon so that you can be notified for more informative videos. Okay, folks, so let's get started, shall we? So what we're discussing here is basically a plan of attack, isn't it? How exactly can we tackle an exam paper? Or how exactly should we prepare for an exam paper? So the first step that we have to adopt here as part of uh, preparing for your exam would be kind of obvious. It's basically to cover 100% of the syllabus of the paper that you're uh, attempting. Okay, folks. So why exactly did I point this out? Well, this is basically because some students, what they do is they learn fractions of the syllabus and hope that this might be tested within the exam. Is that an effective approach? I don't think so, isn't it? This is exactly why you have to cover 100% of the syllabus. And of course, you have to understand each and every topics and concepts and calculations that has been stated within the syllabus itself. Okay, folks, so remember that. Now, so we've acquired the knowledge relating to the uh, ACCA paper that we're attempting, isn't it? So the next step would obviously be to how to apply that knowledge, isn't it? We have to learn how to apply that knowledge in practical scenarios by practicing questions. Okay, folks, keep on practicing questions till the day of your exam. There is no limit to the number of questions that you should have to practice. Okay, folks, keep on practicing as much as you can because question practice is as equal as learning the syllabus itself. Okay, folks, so that's basically the next step. And after that, what you can do is you can also practice one of the most useful resources available to us. That is basically the past papers, isn't it? Practice the past papers of the exam that you're attempting so that you can get a better understanding as to how the main exam questions would look like as well, isn't it? That's basically why we uh, adopt this in our preparation. And of course, another really important point that most students kind of miss out is basically regarding mock exams. Okay, so why exactly should we attempt a mock exam? There are two aspects to it. I would say three aspects to it, not two. The first aspect is that attempting a mock exam will increase your chances of passing by 30%. Okay, so why exactly do I see that? Or on what basis do I see that? Well, that actually relates to the second and third aspect as well. The second aspect in attempting the mock exam is basically due to the fact that you'll get familiarized with the exam atmosphere. Okay, folks, because in your exam, you would be a bit pressured and you will have, you would be kind of nervous, isn't it? So if you're attending a mock, then that particular level of nervousness will reduce a little bit. Okay, folks, that's basically another advantage of attending mock exams. And the third aspect is in relation to the feedback that you get after attending from the attending a particular mock from your feedback provider or from your tutor. Okay, so that's kind of obvious as to what the advantage is, isn't it? So the tutor will point out as to what exactly are the areas that you should improve. And of course, they will also tell you as to what is to be done to prepare well for the exam or what is the next step that you should take to prepare well for the exam as well. Okay, folks, this is why attempting a mock exam is as equally important as all the other steps as well. Okay, folks, so remember that. So we have four steps here and Kind of seems obvious, isn't it? It's kind of really obvious uh, because we can adopt the same steps for any and every exam, be it ACCA, be it any other professional course, be it any other graduation course, be it any other uh, uh, learning courses, isn't it? So there are some few, there are a few more steps that you can adopt to train specifically for the ACCA exam. So what exactly are these steps? Let's take, a, let's talk about that, shall we? So the next step that you can uh, adopt is to continuously revise. Okay, folks, continuously to that's yet again kind of an obvious step, isn't it? Because uh, remember, guys, uh, when it comes to the syllabus or the content of the syllabus, well, then we are all humans and we might forget a few things here and there after, uh, as time passes, isn't it? So we might forget the entire content itself, maybe after one or one and a half months. Okay, folks, so what you have to do is you have to keep on revising as to what you've learned on a continuous basis till the day of your exam. 
Okay, folks, that's basically the most effective way to keep your concepts strong in mind. Okay, folks, keep on continuously revising. And of course, a recommended approach would be to prepare your own notes or revision notes and then revise them. Okay, folks, that's basically a really common approach that is adopted by a lot of ACC students and that has shown a great deal of results as well. Now, moving on to another really important resource that you can utilize as part of your ACC exam preparation. That is basically to read the examiner's report. Okay, so why, what exactly can we uh, understand by reading this? By reading the examiner's report, you will be able to understand what the examiner expects from an exam candidate. That's one thing. And of course, the examiner's report also provides what are the things that strong candidates do and what are the things that poor candidates do as well, isn't it? So as an ACC student, you can adopt the things that the strong candidates do and avoid the things that the poor candidates do by reading the examiner's report. Okay, folks, so that is yet again another really useful resource that you can uh, use to prepare for your ACC exams. So this is like a step-by-step -step approach, isn't it? First of all, you cover 100% syllabus uh, and then you continuously revise it till the day of your exam and then you practice questions till the day of your exam and of course you practice past papers, I would say just a few week, weeks before the exam and of course uh, you read the examiner's report after practicing past papers and then uh, you attend a mock exam, obtain feedback and work on the improvements. And then we have the final step that is basically to go rock your exam. Because if you adopted all the previous steps, then that effectively means that you are fully prepared for the exam. And of course, you will be confident enough to tackle the exam and leave the exam hall with a smile on your face. Okay, folks, so that's basically the idea here. Now, when we talk about this particular step by step process, there is one thing that you have to remember here. Okay, folks, as you can see here, I have a paper plane in my hand. Okay, and of course we made quite a lot of paper planes during our days, isn't it? So what exactly do I want to convey with this? Well, basically, how exactly is this made anyway? It's like the art of origami, isn't it? So we fold a piece of paper with some step-by-step -step processes and then we get the final result. That's basically how this is made, isn't it? So we, this is not a tutorial video, but that is exactly as to how it means. Okay, folks, with a series of folding methods. Now, what if we skip one of those methods? Will we get the end result that is a paper plane? No, no, really, isn't it? So this is exactly uh, similar to the plan of attack as well. Okay, folks, if you miss one step, then you won't get the end result. That is that particular smile on your face when you exit the exam hall. Okay, folks, so remember to prepare well for your exam and I wish you all the very best. Okay, folks, so if you have any questions, feel free to shoot them in the comment section. This is Vishnu Vijay signing off for now. Mm -hmm.